In the gospel today, Jesus paints a scene for the chief priests and Pharisees about a landowner who plants a vineyard. This landowner set up everything so that it's able to produce the best grapes to make the finest wine. Sounds pretty good so far. Then the landowner turns over his vineyard to the tenants, hoping that they will tend the vineyard to get the best grapes possible. When the time comes, the landowner sends his servants to collect the harvest. The tenants are not happy and harm the servants. The landowner, probably frustrated, sends another set of servants, and they too are harmed. In a moment of desperation, the landowner sends his own son, thinking that they would treat him at least with respect and not harm him. But this third attempt doesn't even yield a different result, even though it's in fact the landowner's son. At the end of this parable, Jesus shares with those who are gathered that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. Jesus is emphasizing to the crowd that is gathered that he has given to each one of us an incredible bounty in our very lives. This gift includes the gift of life itself, but also everything that surrounds it, our family, our friends, our church, our work, and our play. All of those things are to be used to help us grow closer to God and do the good works that will bear fruit in this world. While God has been generous with us, there are times that we aren't quite as generous with God or with others. At times, we may be selfish with the gifts that God has given to us, or when we are challenged to live in a different way or give account to how we have been living, we get angry or react in a way contrary to God in terms of how he created us to be. Today, we reflect on the great gifts that God has given to us. Take a moment to think about these gifts and to thank God for these gifts. Then take a moment to think of one gift that you may not be using to its fullest potential, or a gift that you may take for granted and not acknowledge that that gift in fact is from God and wasn't created by you. Ask God for the grace this Lent to use this gift to bear great fruit for his kingdom.